Welcome back to another Wednesday one shot. Um, I am here. No Jesse this time. Instead, we have got Jeff Evans. Jeff, how are you doing, sir? I'm doing well, Curtis. How are you? Beautiful. I'm doing a great. Um, so this is Wednesday one shot. If you haven't checked these out before, it's usually where Jesse and I or Jesse and somebody else or me and somebody else will uh, basically recommend something to you. This is never stuff that we're critical of or, you know, have a lot of, um, you know, feedback for. It's it's usually stuff that we're just kind of over the moon about and we're recommending it for other people to check out. So today uh, for our Wednesday One Shot, I brought in Jeff and we are here to talk about Cops and Crooks, uh, which was a cartoon and toy line, um, you know, when we were kids. And they just recently have announced some new stuff coming out. So um, I think it's getting a little bit more of a spotlight than it has in, in years past. Um, it was a cartoon that I absolutely loved as a kid. Um, has kind of a old timey gangster vibe, but it's set in the future. So there's like futuristic tech stuff, but a lot of, you know, yeah, she kind of voices and, uh, you know, whatnot. Um, you know, some like Tommy guns and different things like that. Uh, you know, muscly dumb guys. And, um, yeah, it's just, it's a really good cartoon or, or I've, I've always found it interesting. Um, and the toys were super unique. Um, they were articulated like, um, a GI Joe, like they had the same kind of articulation as like a GI Joe, but they were bigger. They were like, instead of three and three quarters, they were about five, five and a half inches, um, and they had a lot of cool action features. So it was just something very unique. It had a very short run. Uh, it was only one season of the cartoon and, and, um, you know, didn't have a, a ton of waves for the figures, but, uh, you know, always held a special place in my heart. So Jeff, what was, uh, you know, tell us a little bit about your history with, you know, the cartoon, the toy line and, and, um, you know, all that kind of stuff. So uh, my, I guess my introduction to Cops and Crooks was not Cops and Crooks, but um, Cyber Cops, mm. which was a rebranding of the cartoon in 1993. Um, it was a rerun on CBS Saturday mornings. Mm. And um, I, I, you know, I've always, I've always watched Saturday morning cartoons. So that was like a big... Um, big cartoon for me um after you know knowing about robocop and terminator and knight rider and all all the 80s like sci-fi cyber stuff um so i never got introduced to it in in the actual uh original run in the 80s um and didn't know about the toys until you know late 90s early 2000s um so i've been working on starting the uh the vintage collection mm -hmm. <laughs> so to speak and uh i'm really looking forward to these new ones coming out yeah i mean it it was it was just a lot of fun um you know the the characters were very unique you know that's one thing about the cartoons in the 80s we had a lot of um very unique characters especially the villains the villains always seem to be um a lot a lot more fun than the, than the heroes a lot of times but uh, this this cartoon was no exception to that rule. Like, I mean, it, some of these characters and the things that they could do, and and their voices, and the the just kind of the, I don't know, everything that went with it. And then when you got to the toys, like all the different action features that came along with it, was just a lot of fun. I mean, my favorite was always Buttons McBoom Boom, and you know, which is first of all, amazing name. Like, how do you have a better name than that? But, you know, where you can open up his chest and, like, the guns pop out and then he's, you know, carrying the big, like, violin case with, you know, and that's got a gun in it. Um, just super cool. A lot of, it's a very um, kind of late 80s line in the terms of colors and stuff. There's a lot of pinks and turquoise and stuff like that. So, yeah. Um, yeah, yeah, just so, so some very unique colors, very unique characters, a lot of cool action features. Um, and I really enjoy the show. I just the 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 intro, um, you know, just kind of how they break it down. They like the you know, each episode is like a case file, and so they kind of talk to you about like how the case unfolded, and it's it's just a lot of fun. 
Yeah. Um, ever since, you know, I saw that opening with uh, uh, BP Vess or, or Bulletproof um, uh, doing that voiceover of, you know, fighting crime in a future time and mm -hmm. you know, telling, telling you what cops is like in those first seconds. Um, you're just drawn into the, in the universe and, and you're just ready to go on the ride. Yeah. Uh, it's uh, my, my favorite part of that intro is like, you know, there's all these things going on and, and there's different villains over here and villains over there and the cops are chasing them down and stuff. And then it all culminates to where like, basically they kind of get them all huddled together and then you start getting the lights on them. They all turn their heads towards the light and stuff. It's like, yeah. tsh, 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 and like, Oh, we're all caught, you know? And, uh, <laughs> Yeah, just a lot of fun. So, um, so anyway, it's been many years with nothing from this line. No, no cartoon, no toys, whatever. And now all of a sudden, it's just like we're getting everything. So, I want to want to bring up a few of the things that that are coming, and you know, talk to you, Jeff, about what things, which ones you're interested in, um, and and kind of go from there. So, first, we had this which was a, a five pack uh, that was available um, just with, you know, three of the villains and two of the, the hero characters, um, no articulation, just like, you know, basically like little kind of muscly type figures, like almost like muscle men, but a little bit bigger, obviously with color to them. Um, so starting off, is this something that you were interested in? Um, I liked how they, you know, did these uh, ultra designs, uh, you know, crazy design redesigns of the characters. Mm -hmm. um, I know that they have you have on screen the full color ones, but there's like an all green one yeah. and an all like tan, like muscle man color one. Mm -hmm. um, being a fan of muscle man and monster in your pocket and uh, um, or the beasts, I'm blanking on the beasts. Uh, um, the pocket beast. I, I'm not sure. Uh, Battle beast. Oh, okay, gotcha. Um, gotcha. You know all those all those little um, yeah. character type toys. Um, it kind of gives me that nostalgia, but uh, I guess I'm I'm a sort of a an articulation snob, so I need some more articulation. <laughs> gotcha. Yeah, I originally didn't pick these up. Um, I think it was a price thing, and just the fact that there was no articulation and stuff. But as I've, you know, got into watching the cartoon again more, um, I think I'm going to have to get this. It's it's just a lot of fun um, and it doesn't take up a lot of room. You could put it somewhere, you know, on your desk or something that's not going to take up a lot of space. And um, so, you know, on the screen here, you've got at the top, you got long arm and, and BP vest or bulletproof vest. Uh, then you got Dr. Bad Vibes. You got the big boss and then you've got uh, Buttons McBoom Boom there. So um cool set so that was kind of the first thing and i was like well you know i if, if i we were going to get something this isn't what i would want i wouldn't want a <laughs> non-articulated small little character but it's kind of neat um but then um you know they started announcing some some other things now this this next one i didn't learn about actually till today um and and you were kind of talking about it a little bit but it's uh, apparently like a three and three quarters line. Um, and let me pull up. I got a couple different shots. So this was the, I guess, the initial that was like at a show that they did. Um, so this was just kind of the, the first images that we saw. And since then, there's, there's also a colored in render, which I'll pull up. But um, yeah, t uh, tell us. Well, you, first of all, what, what do you know about this figure? And uh, is this something that you're interested in? Um, so that is uh, Marshall Sundown or Sundown was the was the cops and crooks character. Um, it's, you know, like Curtis says, it's a three and three quarter line um, developed by Chicken Fried Toys and Fresh Monkey Fiction. And Fresh Monkey Fiction is the company that owns the trademark for cops and crooks. So they can do whatever they want. And they were the ones that created, you know, the pocket size ones first. Mm -hmm. um, this was shown at a show, I think, last last year at in Texas in Augusta, Georgia. Um, around Perfect June, spot July. for it. Yeah. <laughs> um, you know, I don't know if it was at a at a 
you know, a GI Joe con probably was. Um, usually they show, they are showing up, you know, those mm -hmm. cops and crooks are showing up and they cops and crooks and, and cyber cops has a background with GI Joe being Hasbro and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, that's that's the three and three quarter line that was introduced or, or teased last year and still is in development um, in pre-orders. Gotcha. So yeah, here's a colored in render of it. Um, it sounds like from our talk before we started this, that uh, this is up for pre-order right now. So this is available. Uh, is that on Big Bad Toy Store? Um, it's on the Chicken Fried Toys website. Uh, okay. They, they're, they are the... They're the, I guess the, um, not the producers, but the the distributors of the three and three quarters. Okay. So for the three and three quarters, is this something? Knowing what we're and we're going to talk about the because the, there's basically three. There's the non-articulated ones. There's this one, and then we're going to talk about a one twelfth line. Knowing that there's all three, is this something you're interested in? Number one, and then number two, is it something you would have been interested in not? if you you knew there wasn't a 112th coming so two questions yeah um so i am interested in this um being you know it has articulation it has the details that we would have had in the you know, five inch line vintage line um i at at one point that's all this is all i knew um was going to be coming so I, being a cops and crooks fan i was going to you know double down and and go for the smaller mm -hmm. smaller scale but uh you know uh i'm i'm i think i'm gonna co i'm gonna collect all cops and crooks so you got me you got me thinking about the, the you know pocket <laughs> size now so i'm all in yeah i'm i'm definitely gonna get the pocket size i'm not sure if i'm gonna get this one i do like it i think it looks great i'm just not a three and three quarters guy like if, if that's all we had I would get it. Um, and a actually, I thought that's what we were getting because I saw the next figure that we're going to show up, the show is a uh, bulletproof vest, which I thought was a three and three before quarters. You, before, yeah. you, before you go on to the next scale. Um, sure. So I wanted to throw out, and we, we talked about this before we went on. Um, they also teased a card back for the button, which was mm. a, because they couldn't use the trademark name or something at the time. It's mm. going to be a, uh, button mix mick boom mix mick boom boom and they also teased that they were going to do um characters with vehicles at some point in the three nice. and three line. yeah and, and i i guess if you're going to do vehicles three and three quarters might be better then because you wouldn't have to make them so massive so yeah. i don't know i was thinking about not doing the three and three quarters but if they do vehicles i'm i may have to get in on that but <laughs> Um, next we have, and let me, I'm probably going to have to increase the size or something with like, I can blow up one and then it makes the other one too small. So let me, here we go. So this is first kind of an initial showing that they did at a show, um, for the bulletproof vest. Um, now this is one twelfth scale, um, through big bad toy store. Is that correct? Yeah, it's a, this, this, uh, um, this is being developed in conduct in con in com combination with Big Bad Toy Store and Fresh Monkey Fiction. Right. Okay. So, um, I mean, first of all, just looking at this is amazing. Like, this is this is going to be one twelfth. Um, you know, the I, for, I love bulletproof vest. Uh, I you know, it looks like you got two heads, you got multiple sets of hands, you got some handcuffs, gun. And that amazing soft good trench coat, uh, yeah. that looks phenomenal. <laughs> um, and then we ended up getting a second picture, which I think is the one that more people have probably seen, which is um, this one. And now I'm going to have to shrink this one because it's doing the opposite. <laughs> <laughs> so here we go. Let me shrink it even more so we can see the whole thing. There we go. Nice. So, um, yeah, so there's now this doesn't show the trench coat, um, but you, you see, you know, a couple heads there, hand options. Um, the uh, now on this one, the other one looked like it had a non glasses version. This one looks like it's two glasses, but I think one has his eyebrow raised. Um, so I'm not sure if those glasses are going to be removable because the other one, it looked like maybe there wasn't glasses on it, but 
um, multiple sets of hands, handcuffs, briefcase, um, and a gun. This looks fantastic. I am all in on this. Questionable about the three and three quarters. If they do vehicles, I'm probably in, but this I'm definitely in on. This is awesome. Yeah, I, I was blown away. Like out of all the Joe Fest festivities and stuff that people were talking about this past weekend, all I wanted to talk about was cops and crooks. <laughs> yeah. And and when they showed when they showed a uh, like a on somebody posted a screen grab of the presentation, mm -hmm. and then we got this render, and then we got you know the actual shot in the in the booth at the big mm -hmm. bad star booth. Um, it just it's it's gotten me all ready to go. <laughs> and and he was the coolest character. I mean, I I I loved BP Vest because you know he was in, in that time period. He was one of the only um, you know african-american led um you know comic book care or you know cartoon character and he was just so suave man that dude was he was so cool um i do want to pull this one back up and i'm gonna have to blow it up because you know all this stuff but it does look like down in the corner yep. uh that the glasses do come off of that one so you know i i you know, I don't know if that's the same as the render or if they're still kind of it said under construction. So there there may be certain things that they're still deciding. But, you know, I don't know if both heads have the glasses removable or if it's one that's stationary and one that has it removable. I'm not sure. But um, really cool set. I love that that trench coat, man. It's so good. Yeah, it's it it just harkens back to the five inch vintage line. And um I, I can't wait to see, you know, the other characters in this scale. Like, what is Big Boss going to look like? And if they do vehicles or something at the, this, it's going to be, it's going to be great. Well, and, and I would love it if we got a new cartoon. Um, you well, know, we've seen some of that with like Masters of the Universe and she and, and, um, you know, Turtles have had plenty of cartoons over the years. Voltron just had a new one on Netflix. So, you know, if, if this line becomes popular and all of a sudden they, they get a new to a new cartoon out of it, I would be just over the moon ecstatic. So, yeah. Uh, other than a great cartoon, um, they had a, a short 15 issue run with DC comics. Mm -hmm. And if they, if they do well with the toys, maybe they do cartoon, maybe they do comics and it's endless. That, that would be awesome. Well, there you go, folks. Um, you know, that's our, our Wednesday one shot. Uh, there's a lot of stuff with this, but, you know, the old stuff is really just cartoon, one season, small toy line um, before they kind of moved on to other things. And now we've got, you know, a bunch of stuff coming out. So if it's, you know, if you've never tried it before, check out the cartoon first. I think you'll like it and it may make you want to get into this other stuff. If it is something that you used to be uh, interested in, this new stuff may be right up your alley. So check it out. And uh, yeah, thanks, Jeff. Any other closing thoughts on this stuff? Uh, yeah, check out the cartoon on Tubi. Make sure you mm -hmm. search c.o.p.s. <laughs> yep. Uh, or yeah, you're if, not you don't, if you don't put the dots in there, it d will not come up in the search. But yeah, Tubi has them. And that is my Saturday morning. So that's what I'll be doing tomorrow. Excellent. Uh, Me too. <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, I appreciate you joining me and uh, folks uh, tune in for the next Wednesday one shot. And until then, uh, we still don't have a way to close out this segment. You've been shot. Uh